Two dance shows hold nationwide auditions. Dance Moms returns for a new season and Yell debuts a dance video. This is Just Dance for January 5th, 2012. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Lauren Gottlieb, and if you're wondering what I'm doing hosting Just Dance and why it doesn't really look like we're on the streets of New York, well, that's because we're in sunny Hollywood, California, the brand new home for Just Dance. Now to get things started, and just in case you missed it, last week we released our nominations for the Best Dance Video of 2011. There's still time to cast your vote, so check it out and let me know which one you think should go down in the books. Now most of you know me from So You Think You Can Dance Season 3 and All Star on Season 7 and 8, but what I don't think you know is I actually didn't know about the audition until the day before. So I quickly threw together a two minute solo to Rachel Yamagata's Be Be Your Love. And I actually couldn't make it to the Orpheum Theater to audition until like three in the afternoon. So everyone lines up at like 5 a.m. I went in and somehow got to the front, was in and out in an hour. The second day when I did my solo, I was the third person to go and I was one of three people to get sent straight to Vegas. So 24 hours before, I had no idea that my entire life was about to change. Now, if you want the chance to be on the ninth season of the Emmy-nominated show, well, now's your chance. Atlanta kicked off today, but there's four more cities across the country. Grab your pen, you're gonna wanna write this down. The first one is January 13th at the McFarland Memorial Auditorium in Dallas, Texas. The second is January 23rd at the Manhattan Center in New York City. And February 23rd at the Capitol Theater in Salt Lake City. And last but not least, right here in Los Angeles, California at the Orpheum Theater. Now check out fox.com slash dance for all the rules and regulations. And let me know below if you are going to be auditioning this year. I may just give you a few tips. Okay, so get ready because Abby Lee Miller is coming back for a second season of Dance Moms. Now the hit docuseries takes place at her dance studio in Pittsburgh and we watch as she takes her young aspiring dancers and molds them into superstars. The season premiere is on January 10th at 9pm on Lifetime. Now for those of you wondering if the same dance moms and kids from season one are returning, well check out what Abby told us in an exclusive interview. I'm pretty sure that everybody's back on board and they're all excited to start the new season and there may be a few new cast members, maybe, and you'll just have to wait and see. So you may have seen the pilot last spring or the holiday special before Thanksgiving, but the soon to be hit series Mobbed is now starting in full gear. In the show, I help out nappy tabs. I pretty much assist them with the thousand people that show up that day, and I choreograph all of our mobsters into the routine. And right here, I have Tabitha Napoleon. Mm -hmm. And before we even get started, we have some special news. Nah. Well, Chick not me, they do. <laughs> Tabitha is pregnant. Yes. I guess we're both pregnant, huh? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, Well, weird. you made it. He's the one in trouble, but I'm the one that has it. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna have a sister. Yes. <laughs> I'm not in their family. I wish. <laughs> but you look like you are. Yeah, you are Love my it. sister. Um, okay, so let's dive into this season. So tell me a little bit about how crazy last night's episode was. I think there's never an episode that isn't crazy, and you know because oh we God. drag you into the chaos with us. Uh, there's always a mad rush for the finish line. There's always way too many big ideas that we want to dream up and try to accomplish. And this time we we almost lost, I think, we, we our final moment. We were a little moment. overboard. Yeah. We, were, we were a little... Uh, uh, pressed for time and I think the ideas were too grand in such a short amount of time. The umbrellas we had some really cool ideas with mm -hmm. that you can remember. Yeah. And, uh, but we simplified it and sometimes I think less is more and it worked to our advantage. Definitely. It's really about the characters that we have on the show and, and I think when we keep that in sight then we can scale down and say okay don't forget the end result or don't forget what it's really about. So next week's episode I kind of feel like we dived into their personal mm -hmm you know, life a little bit. Do you want to explain what happens? Yes, uh, there is, there's a lady who's been divorced but hasn't told her parents or her aunt. And, and she also tells them, I have a six-year-old son, son. That you've never met. 
Okay, so you definitely don't want to miss this episode. It's next week on January 11th at 9 p.m. on Fox. America's Best Dance Crew is gearing up for another season of The Superstars, and they're looking for crews right now for the hit MTV series. Auditions are open to crews with five to seven dancers, and for the first time in ABDC history, they're allowing crews from previous seasons to come back and audition. So it'll be interesting to see which ones of our favorites make it on. Go to dancecrew.mtv.com for more details. Last year, Yell hit us with a fantastic music video for their hit song, KVA2, where they teamed up with my personal favorite ABDC contestants, Fanny Pack. Well, the French group is back with another dance field video to their new song, Come On On Fong. Let's check in with Yell fan Nathan Barnett for his two cents on the video. I like the whole style of the video. It, it kind of reminds me of a Wes Anderson movie mixed with a slow photo shoot. It's pretty neat. I like just the colors and all the people, the faceless people, and Yell dancing. Obviously, you can't lose. So I give the new Yell Come On On Fong video 10 Nathan. <laughs> Finally, it is my favorite season of the entire year. It's award show season. Officially kicking it off are the People's Choice Awards next week. Word on the street is that Demi Lovato and Faith Hill are set to perform. There's 43 categories ranging all the way from favorite movie superhero to favorite tour headliner. Now I'm gonna throw it to my sassy friend, Miss P, and she's gonna give us all of our People's Choice Awards predictions. Hey, what's up everybody? It is time for the People's Choice Awards. I'm gonna tell y'all what I think. Let me go ahead and get into these categories. First one is favorite comedy movie. I'm gonna have to go with Bridesmaids. I love that movie. Bad Teacher was really good. Hangover 2 was good as well. But Bridesmaids, that mess is funny. I actually went to Target and bought that movie. Favorite music video. Judah, Judah, ah, ah. With Lady Gaga, Last Friday Night, Katy Perry, Party Rock Anthem, Rolling in the Deep, and Run the World, girls. I'm gonna have to go with Run the World. Just because, you know, Beyonce, she was doing it, she was hitting it, and the dance was off the chain. Favorite TV competition show. American Idol, America's Got Talent, Dancing with the Stars, So You Think You Can Dance, or The Boys. I was really loving The Voice, but I think I'll have to go with Dancing with the Stars. I really enjoyed it, especially this last season. I enjoyed it. But those are my thoughts. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure to tune in to the People's Choice Awards. I had so much fun with you. And how cool was it that Tabitha and Napoleon were able to stop by? And I hope you really liked our transition to Los Angeles. Be sure to like and favorite the video and subscribe to Dance On, and I will see you next week.